From there, we're going to go into engines. We're going to talk about pretty much just one day's worth on engines, what the difference is between them, and how they operate, just a real simple, basic operation. Then we're going to electrical. Electrical is probably the one issue that most people are the most afraid of and know the, low, the least amount about. And so we're going to kind of slow down a little bit when we hit electrical and try to cover it. And hopefully when we're done, you have a pretty good idea of what it is and how it functions and how it works. And so we have a really good PowerPoint presentation and taught it a few times, so that should work pretty well. From there, we're going to go into hydraulics. We'll probably spend two days on hydraulics. And then we're going to spend the rest of the quarter on reels and real products and stuff like that. And so that kind of gives you an idea of how the quarter is going to go. It's going to change topics pretty fast and pretty regularly. Uh, my background is basically in agriculture. I came from Molino, and we had a chicken turkey farm down there and hay and cows and stuff. Moved up here when I was 13, so I've lived in this area for since I was 13. And uh, we have a 400-acre farm. My parents have a 400-acre farm on the other side of the valley, and they raise hay, grain, and cows. I went to college here, took the diesel program, and graduated, went down to OIT in Clown <coughs> Falls, have a bachelor's degree in diesel power technology. Thought only old people and, and uh, people with lots of money played golf and did anything on golf courses, so I stayed away from them. And the instructor that taught the diesel program here got me hooked back into the college. And so I started, my job here started with the John Deere program. I helped get the John Deere program going. I worked in their shop, build training aids. Some of the training aids that they use over there right now is some of the ones that I built. And while I was doing that, I substitute taught for whoever was sick or had to go to a meeting or for whatever reason. And this program started about the exact same year that I started here. I developed the first class that was in here and been changing it ever since. But in developing that class, when I, what I did is I went out into the industry and I talked to people in the industry and said, if you hired a student and he went through this class, this is the title, this is what it's supposed to be, what would you want them to know? And I developed a class on what they said they would expect a student to know. And in the process of developing that class, we started the whole turf equipment program. So they were saying, there's lots of turf management programs or programs that teach something about turf management, but there are nobody and no programs that teach the equipment end of it. And so long story short, we talked to the people in the administration. They kept telling me to start it. I kept telling them I'm a farmer, I'm not a golfer. But the more I looked into it, the more I see in the industry is pretty interesting. There's not just old people. The equipment is not just cheap mowers, as most of you know by now, uh, pretty expensive, pretty sophisticated, and some pretty good careers. And so I changed my focus in life and went into golf courses. So I've been here ever since then. I've worked at Waverly in Portland um, for a summer, and I've worked at a bunch of the dealers. worked at the John Deere dealer in Snohomish, the one in Spokane, the Toro dealer in Spokane. I've worked over here at Tumac off and on, and so I've tried to expand out. My program doesn't just cover golf courses. It covers landscape, rental outfits, lot, anything in the outdoor power industry. So it's kind of a lot of stuff mixed together. And so I've tried to work in a lot of different areas trying to get the differences between them. And so a lot of different experiences that we'll pull into this class.